so <clears throat> there's something I want to say to people out there in the world people that you know if you're a kind of person that follows someone home and tries to attack them or trying to harass them then you are pretty sick and vile why do you want to make someone's life a misery what have they ever done to you to actually make you do that to them you know what I mean there has to be a reason for you to do that to someone to actually make them make you want to harass them you know why do it you know I feel so sorry for the people that go through this kind of situations every day you know I kind of went through the same problem today and it's not a nice experience I know because I've experienced it in the past and it's not a very nice thing to go through you know and it's just hard to explain because you know it's just You know, if someone does something like that to you, you should get, you should walk away or you should just run for it, you know, go and get help. You know, I've done it, I've been through it. You know, it's just, if you've ever come across that person again, you should run away. You should get the police. You know, try and sort the situation out as quick as possible. You know, you may have to go through things like court. You know, write statements down. And as far as I know, that's as far as I'm going to go with personal information. It's not nice, but it has to be done. But why put someone through that misery? You know, it's just sick and vile. This world is full of sick and disgusting people. And I am one of the very victims of that. To be treated by one of those people who treat people as like a piece of shit. You know what I mean? I was happily walking home. And I got... You know, and that happens to me. You know, just if you're someone like me and you have that happening to you, just be more aware of where you're going and what you're doing. Because if it ever happens to you, just run away from the situation. Try and ignore the person. If the person's pushing you around, just try and shove them off or just tell them to leave you alone or whatever. Just run for it, just phone the police. You know, I had a friend that helped me and hopefully it will be sorted. He helped me because I can't hear on the phone and I'm hard of hearing and I kind of have to have someone there to help me, which I'm kind of glad he did. But I'm just trying to choose between my hair appointment and the incident. So it's, I'm in a 50-50 situation and that's a pretty big number and it's not nice. It's, why do it? Why do it people? Why put someone through that misery? You know, it's just not nice. Just stop it. Don't do it. It's, you're going to get yourself into a lot of trouble. You may not care about the things you put people through. I know I do, because I'm not the kind of person that would do that to someone. I wouldn't even hurt a fly without that going doing that to someone. You know, it's just 
don't do it, it's not on. And it's not going to make you a better person than you already are. You know, it's... What are you gaining from it? It's just... Don't do it. It's not right, it's not on. I wouldn't do it to anyone. I wouldn't go down the street and harass someone. It's just... I don't want to end up in prison for harassing or attacking someone. It's just, don't do it. No, it's not on. You know, it really upsets me, you know. I almost cried about it earlier. Because, not because I was scared of the person that did it to me or scared of the situation I was just quite angry and shocked you know it's just bring out the emotions in me it's just I don't know what goes through the person's head to make them do that to someone it's just not right people like that should be locked up I'm not being harsh or anything but it's true you know, you're going to do something like that to someone, you're at least going to get a warning, and if you go out there and do it again, that may be your last chance. And I have to say this, but it's true. If you're going to do that, then go ahead, get yourself into trouble. I'm not going to be the one that's going to be worse off, you know. I'm not the problem at the end of the day. It's the person that's harassing you or me or anyone is the problem. You know, it's just trying to cause problems over nothing, basically. It's cowards, you know what I mean? I'm not a coward. I did the right thing. I ran away. You call me a coward for running away? Fine, go ahead. I did the right thing. He didn't. Whoever he is. If I knew who he was, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't want to say who he is. For personal reasons. What? Well, just to get it out there. Just if anyone tries to ask you for money or tries to cause any problems whatsoever just ignore them run away <laughs> yeah and just try not to get into situations like that you know what I mean it's you know it's I had a little chat with a person who's been trying to talk to me but in the end I ignored him and he tried to shove me around and I ran away as quick as possible as soon as I ignored him he was like woo 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 and I was like what is I want to get home I'm, I gotta get home quickly and he was like woo 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 and he started pushing me around and I just legged it home to my friend's house where I live you know it's just he tried to grab me, you know what I mean? He tried to grab me in the leg. It's just... Sick. I wasn't upset about it when I wasn't scared. You know, it's gonna happen again at some point. Obviously. Without me knowing. But I've got to be more aware about it. You know, it's just... Be more cautious with where you're going and what you're doing. That's all I can say. Be careful, be alert, be careful with who you're talking to, just be safe, you know, just at the end of the day, just be aware of what's going on around you, and if people are going to be like that to you, then just ignore them, run away, call the police, just sort the situation out as quick as possible, and I, I hope this has helped many people. And I want to help you, people in my situation. You know, I don't want you getting attacked or 
harassed by anyone whatsoever because I myself know what that's like and I don't want to see anyone else going through that situation. I'm not too happy about it, nor is my girlfriend and she cried because it happened to me. You know, why does it have to be me? You know, why me? Why? Why me? I do not know. Anyway, I hope this has helped a lot of people. And I hope it's helped you. And I hope you've kind of gained something from what I've said. You know, it's just about being safe. You know, it's just... Yeah, just watch what you're doing. I can't say any more than that. So... I will see you later and I hope this has helped and I hope you learned something from it. So, cool beans. Bye. I'm back quickly just to um, ask you guys a question. What would you do if you was in a situation where someone was trying to ask you for money or trying to or trying to get something out of you? If someone was like asking you questions like where's this and where do I go to find that station or where do I do or what the time is or blah 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 trying to get something out of you and they're trying to make you alive in misery by harassing you or trying to grab you by the arm and physically assault you in any way or attack you and you're in that situation where someone's doing that to you what would you do? you know? I know what I would do I was just kind of say a few things, then completely ignore them, and when they actually start doing whatever they're doing to you, you just leg it. You just don't look behind, just run for your life. You know, go and ask for help. You know, I'm pretty sure there's someone out there that could help. There's always the police that you can phone. You know, just deal with it quickly, get it over as quick as possible, you know. That's my personal experience. What would you do if you was in the situation where I was in? Where someone's asking you things that you wouldn't feel comfortable answering or... Or you're talking about something you don't mind talking about and it's coming from a person that you don't like or coming from a person that isn't a very nice person to turn out to be the kind of person you'd want to be with, or hang around with, who at the end of the day physically tries to assault you, what would you do? That's my personal question to you guys, and I'd like to know what you think. If you have any comments, comment on the comment box below, and I'm not going to force you to subscribe, it's up to you. You know, I'm going to go right around the world just to make people subscribe to my channel. It's up to you guys who want to subscribe or not. If you have any answers, please share your experiences below in the comment box. And I'll just like to know what you think. And what you would do in the situation where I was in. So, yeah, comment box below if you have any answers or questions. So... I would like to hear from you and let me know what you think.